Game Caviar, another episode coming right at you. I'm your host as always, not having it. And today we have some Black Ops gameplay. Back to Black Ops, Domination on launch. Recorded from Combat Theater. It's not a live recording, but probably be all right. Uh, got a lot of things to go over with, so I'm gonna jump right into it. First off, no Valkyrie Chronicles 3 for the West. Apparently, Sega doesn't feel the need to release Valkyrie Chronicles 3 to the remainder of the world because Valkyrie Chronicles 2 didn't sell that well. Um, I remember Valkyrie Chronicles 2 being released and as soon as I saw that it was only on PSP, I completely uh, forgot about it and put it out of my mind because who, who was playing PSP in 2010 and I can pretty much guarantee I put my not having it guarantee on it that if Sega had released Valkyrie Chronicles 2 on PS3 it would have sold enough for them to warrant a release of Valkyrie Chronicles 3 to the West so you know Sega does whatever they want to do their corporation and yeah, they're not known for making the best decisions and I really think that this this whole Valkyrie Chronicles situation was another one of those um, those wise decisions by Sega, you know, those, those, those people have, they have infinite wisdom, they do. Uh, anyway, uh, 360, uh, Fall Dashboard, uh, um, from what I read, Xbox released a uh, update, but it wasn't the big Fall Dashboard update. It was, um, that's coming, but what they're going to do is they, they're planning on releasing a beta. I'm not too sure how to get into that beta, probably has to you probably have to be an Xbox uh, Live Gold subscriber, but I don't know exactly how to get into it. So all you Xbox um, fanboys, well not fanboys, but diehard Xbox fanatics, um, make sure you get into, uh, look around and see whether you can get into that beta. And if you do, let me know how it is, you know. Um, drop me a line and update me on that, uh, that project. Uh, moving on. Is there will there be a kill zone four? I hope so. Um, of course, kill zone is a guerrilla games. They're big. That's their uh, their pride and joy right now. And from what I understand, they are currently hiring people to work on a first person shooter. Maybe kill zone four. Maybe it'll be a whole new game. They are supposedly working on a new franchise. And I don't think that it's a first-person shooter, and I think it's already under development. So I would imagine they would have everybody that they need for that project. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed, and hopefully we will see a Killzone 4 someday. Uh, sad news for the PSN. It has been hacked again, but this time it's not as bad as it was the first time. Remember uh, back when it first got hacked, they had to take the whole PSN down for... Uh, a month at least a month and they had to basically rebuild it from scratch and it really sucked especially for me I do most of my gaming on PS3 and I couldn't get online I played so much Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Zombies that it was just it was ridiculous but this time uh, Sony is reporting that it was less than one tenth of one percent of users that were were affected by this hack uh, that's really not that many people uh, needless to say, you will have to do a mandatory, a mandatory password reset as soon as you try to log on to the PSN network. Not a big deal. Uh, think up some sort of password, you know, and um, move, you know, keep it moving. That's what I plan on doing. I haven't turned on my PS3 yet, but I know what's waiting for me. It's not going to sneak up on me. Um, next story, Facebook app released on iPad. This has been in development for a long time. I have an iPad. When I first got it, the first one of the first things that I did was I looked at um, I looked for a Facebook app, and they didn't have one, which tripped me out. But now uh, they have a Facebook app, and the pictures that I've seen, it looks pretty easy to use. I mean, it's Facebook after all. So all you Facebook iPad users, go download the app now. Uh, Uncharted 3 has gone gold in the gaming community. When a game has gone gold, that means it is literally being printed on CDs in a warehouse somewhere in a secret location, probably in Antarctica. It's probably not in Antarctica, but that's in my mind. That's how it is. So 
it has gone gold it's done being developed it's almost it's this is like the step before it's in your hands I'm really looking forward for uh, for Uncharted 3. Naughty Dog said that the single-player campaign is going to take at least 8 to 10 hours to complete, and I love that because I, I feel as though I'm getting my money's worth. And finally, uh, Microsoft will release a version of the Xbox 360 in late October that will have a 320-gigabyte hard drive. That's a lot of space. And for all you guys who love Xboxes and maybe you're waiting to get an xbox this may be the time or you want to wait until maybe the holiday season i don't know but anyway that's all for the news this gameplay is almost over i i, I did pretty well on this actually um i went uh, 20 something and 16 i don't i don't remember anyway i was just running around like a madman this thing is speed sped up somehow i don't know why sometimes my software does that anyway like comment subscribe you've been watching game caviar i'm your host not having it be sure to check out the next episode thank you for watching and i'm out